Shabby people, I'm back with another video and today I'm super excited. I have an unboxing for you guys. As you all can see from the title of the video, I finally subscribed to the McCart Your Nail Lab in a box uh, subscription. I've been looking at this subscription for like the last, I don't know, maybe six months. I finally, when I saw the April box, I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it a try, especially too, since I've been doing more poly gel on my channel. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna hop right on into the April Your Nail App box. I'm so excited about this, you guys. So this is how it came, all right. Um, this is my first time, like I said, subscribing to their um, box. Actually, this is my first nail subscription, period. I've not subscribed to anything. I was debating between this one and the House of Supplies one, but I've heard so many horror stories about the House of Supplies, I just decided not to. And with this one, it seems like they're getting their stuff together with shipping and things like that. So yeah, y'all, let me unbox this, okay? So we gonna get this open here. I saw everybody unboxing theirs, and I was like, y'all, I need to get this. Like, I'm excited. So this is how it comes. The inside of the box is super cute. It says your nail lab in a box. Um, and so let's just open this right on up, y'all. Let's see the goodies that's included, okay? Yes. Oh, how fun. Okay, this is really cool. First off, you see here they have a little card here talking about who curated the box and how it was curated. And then that's just the card here. Yes, okay, y'all, we starting off with a bang, okay? We started off with the bling. Y'all know me. If I ain't got a little bling tivity, a little bit of charm tivity to my sets, they ain't complete. And they look like some nice AB crystals. So yeah, happy to have these. ASMR for y'all. Yeah, these are really cute. I love me some AB crystals, so that's nice. And then they also have these super cute little teddy bear charms in here, you guys. So I actually recently hauled these from Shein, but um, I am excited to have them just in my collection in general because they are super cute and super adorable. I saw everybody hauling these um, on their Shein hauls. I finally bit the bullet and got it. And now here I am um, getting it here in this, this description box. These are really cute, but it comes with the gold one here. It comes with a silver and it comes with a rose gold. So I'll be excited to incorporate these into a set soon. It also comes with some liner brushes, which is really awesome. I'm actually in the process of trying to build my liner brush collection. So I'm super excited to have these. It comes in the color pink garnation and then bling bling. So let's see what the consistency is of their, um, Liner brushes, okay? Ooh, wow. Do y'all see this? That is a pretty gold, wow. Okay, the consistency seems nice and thick. So that's pretty cool, okay. I think I'm gonna like these. Okay, so that's the bling bling, and let's look at the pink carnation. Okay. Oh, wow, that is a really pretty pink. Oh. Really nice, soft, like pastel kind of pink. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Kind of pastel, but also low-key kind of neon. So these are some really pretty colors here. Next we have here some more charms, y'all. So I love, like I said, I love me some charms. These charms came with the gold accents that have the curve on it. It came with some caviar beads. I've been using these a lot in my sets lately, so definitely happy to have these. Um, came with these cute little rose flowers. Came with these cute little flowers that you can put the little caviar beads on the inside of. Got some cute little pearls. Oh, and these are cute, some pearls and roses. These are really beautiful. Okay, I like that. Yeah, y'all see, y'all see like the little pearls and shift to the roses. I have a few roses, but none of them have like that pearls and shift to them. So that is really cute. Happy to have that. They also put in a nail art foil glue. So that's pretty nice. I actually have one of these already. So likely I'll end up putting this in a future giveaway. So yeah, but that's nice to have. And then it looks like they also included some foils as well. Wow, these foils are beautiful. Holy smokes. Do y'all see that blue? Wow, that's really pretty. And then this one here has like a hollow image on it. That is really nice. Okay. Yeah, do y'all see that? You see the hollow shift on this one? Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that. And I really like this blue color too. Wow. All right, McCart. All right, McCart. Okay. 
And then what else we got here? We just got some more, you know, florals with like a transparent background. So that's nice. Then we have some glitters here. You guys, I'm actually new to, I'm actually just now getting into glitters and I absolutely love them. I really enjoy mixing my glitters inside of gels when I use them. So excited to have more of these to play around with. And I like that they are like a wide variety of different glitters. So in this one, you have like different type of hearts and stars and triangles and such. Same thing in this one. It's just like a big mixed variety of the different glitters that's in there so I'm just gonna kind of show you all how these look I'm not gonna take them out the packaging because it looks like they kind of spilled a little bit during shipping which is fine I just don't want to deal with the mess right now but yeah y'all these are gonna be fun to play with so I will be incorporating these into a future set the stars of the show here which are the two poly gels you guys so I've been eyeballing the McCart poly gels for quite some time and this is actually my first purchase with McCart as well just so you all know and I'm excited so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get this box out the way this box is also really cute too oh I didn't even notice this it said hey babe <laughs> I love that, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this off to the side here. And I want to go ahead and unbox these uh, poly gels and then also swatch these liner brushes, okay? Okay, they come nice and bubble wrapped, so that's nice. Okay, so these are the bottles. Okay, so they are 60 ml containers here. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these out and get an idea of what the consistency is like. Cause again, I have never used McCart's poly gel before, so I'm excited. So we're gonna get to swatching y'all. So the first one here is Sea Sisters, okay. All right, so this is Sea Sisters, y'all. This is a really pretty, like, pearlescent pink color. Okay, okay. I think I like the consistency of these. These are some really thick poly gels, okay? I like that. I like working with poly gels that are of a stiffer consistency. Oh yeah, these are nice, okay. I see why these are easy to mold the nail with um, or shape the nail with, but yeah, this is Sea Sisters. Super easy to work with this, wow, okay. McCart, I see. You know, this kind of low-key reminds me of the Patty Gel from Long Hair Pretty Nails, to be honest with you. Um, I do think hers is of a little bit of a stiffer consistency, but I think it's kind of right up there with it. Oh, gosh. Y'all see how pretty that is? Wow. Uh, it's kind of stiff just like the other one, though. But, yeah, this is a really pretty color. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cure this. And then the next color we have here is Cake. And I believe this is kind of a white color. This is the cake color here. This is like a really pretty, like light peachy color that has a really beautiful like shift to it, like a like a pearly shift to it. Oh yeah, I'm liking this, you guys. I'm liking this a lot. Okay. Yeah, these are really easy to work with though. Like a little bit goes a long way. Like they just, I like the stiff consistency of them. Yeah, that's super easy to work with. Look at that. That is a really pretty pearl color here. I love that. So I think I want to just kind of swatch the end of the stick here just to see what that consistency is like and how thin of a line I can actually get. Um, you guys, with these liner brushes too, make sure you're scraping off all the product off the sides of the brush and then just kind of swirling around in a circle. That way, when you're working with the brushes, you don't have a lot of product just kind of like gooping off and falling off while you're working with it. So let's see how these liner brushes work, okay? All right, so that's one line here. Okay, that looks pretty good and pretty opaque to me. And then let me see if I can get an even thinner line, okay? Yeah, you can. Okay, that's pretty nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So now I'm gonna go through and just go ahead and, I don't know, I'm just gonna see what kind of artwork I might be able to do here on the fly. I always like to practice, you know, a French smile line when I get liner brushes just to kind of see how easy they are to work with, you know? And this is seeming pretty darn easy. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in the whole swatch stick here. Yeah, this looks really easy to work with. 
Even for like trying to fill in the color, that's nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Yeah, that's really pretty. That's only one coat too. Yeah, I'm gonna cure that. And then next I'm gonna go in with this pink garnation color here, okay? And again, um, you'll want to, and again, you guys, when you're working with these brushes, wipe everything off of the stem here. This product's been sitting in there, so you want to just wipe everything off, right? And then I'll actually wipe it off to the point where I can see the clear part of the handle of the brush. So and then I'll just go inside and swirl in the middle here, and then I'll still take some off, and then I just want to see how opaque this is, y'all. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Okay, these are pretty good liner brushes. I'm not mad at it. It's a nice thick consistency, really opaque. You can get a really thin line. You can get a really thick line. That's pretty nice. All right, you guys, yeah, that looks pretty good. It's pretty pigmented for one coat, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. So let me show you the swatches of the poly gels again. So again, cake. So this is what the cake color looks like. I mean, it's a really pretty kind of like really light peachy um, off-white color that has this really beautiful pearly shift to it. I really like it. It's it's giving me kind of wedding day vibes, kind of bridal vibes here. And look at this pink though. Wow. This pink is really beautiful to it. It also has that pearlescent shift to it, but it also has like some micro um, glitters or shimmers to it. It's really nice. Yeah, that's a really pretty color. And then for the gel liner brushes, this is what Bling Bling looks like up close. You guys, this is just one coat of the Bling Bling. I really like this uh, gel liner. That's a really beautiful gold. And then the last one here is the Pink Garnation. Yeah, the Pink Garnation. And that's what this looks like. Just a really nice light pink color. Um, I thought it kind of looked more neon at first, but it's just more like a nice soft pink color. Um, that's really opaque um, and y'all can see here the lines you can go really thin you can go really thick so it's nice you have the option to kind of play around with your nail art the thing I noticed about these poly gel tubes which I thought was kind of weird it does say that it's 30 ml which I think is more than what most give uh, and maybe it's considered the full-size bottle but I feel like half of it is empty so I don't know if you all can hear this or not so I feel like the poly gel doesn't really start until like here Right, so from here down, the poly gel is in here. So I'm not really sure like why that is, but the whole front part of this is just, you know, I can bend it, it's like empty, you know? So I'm not really sure why, you know, it's so empty and all I did was put like a little swatch down. But I feel like I don't have that issue with this, this particular color, the Sea Sisters, so. The sea sister so yeah i don't know maybe it was just the thing with the cake color but overall you guys i'm really liking everything that came in the box okay so i just wanted to do a quick unboxing for you all so that you can kind of get an idea of what comes in the your nail lab box um again i'm new to this subscription it's my very first time um getting it so um, we'll see if I keep it. I definitely wanted to have this month's box because I loved everything that came in it. So yeah, I am liking everything that came in this month's box. Like everything from the bling to the glitters to the, the full size poly gels and even the liner brushes. We're talking charms and such and even the foil glue with the foils. Like I think this is actually a really good deal for 35 bucks. Um, and these are all things that I like to do when it comes to my nail art. I love adding bling to my sets. I love adding charms to my sets. Sets. I love doing some freehand nail art. I'm getting into glitters and you all know on my poly gel journey I'm getting really good at it. So I really think this is a this kit is well worth it to be honest with you guys And I'm looking forward to seeing what they include in next month's box uh, We'll see like I said if I keep it or not the subscription itself is $35 a month and it does have free shipping Which is a nice plus to it. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video I'm not sure if I'm gonna end it here or if I might hop in and test these products out and do a full review for you guys But I'll keep you posted if you all are curious about the sets that I have on um, links will be in the description this is a cute little springtime I set I did with some more pretty products and this over here is an acrylic application I did using dip powders from 
double dip and this was my first time doing acrylics y'all so yeah anywho um i will go ahead and uh i guess leave the link to the box if you guys want to get it down in the description box um like i said I'm, I'm looking forward to next month so this is the april box that i received here this is the april box oh and i want to say too the shipping was really fast on this box okay you guys let me see when i ordered this so i, I ordered this box late in the month too by the way i ordered it on april 20th and I received it on April 23rd by noon. So I was really impressed at how fast this box came. I wasn't expecting to get it that soon, especially having heard some of the shipping issues that, that, that they had in the past with their boxes. But I was very, very pleased with how fast I got this box. And so, yeah, um, I think I'm supposed to get my box um, the first week of May. Um, anyway, I think that they charged a card. Based off what I've seen, other people say they charged a card on the first of the month now. Um, so yeah, y'all, I'm super excited to have all these goodies and to add them into my collection. And um, if I don't create a look with this right now, you all will be seeing me put these items to use in the very, very near, near future. So yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday videos where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.